So work, that's a thing a lot of us have to do. And unfortunately that means for a lot of us having to leave the house. Not the most exciting concept at eight in the morning, but inevitable nonetheless. And for many of us, starting work at nine in the morning also spells a commute. Whether it's a half circle on the Glasgow Underground or a bus into Princes Street or a train from Linlithgow, you might be spending 15 minutes or even an hour stuffed in with a lot of strangers travelling to your workplace. Your commute, however, can be prime reading time if you pick the right books. So I have three books to recommend to you today for your commute. For me, the key to picking a good commute book is to keep it small, light, easy to consume, but something absorbing at the same time. And where possible to avoid provocative titles and covers in case anybody decides to start a conversation with me based on the cover of my book. So without further ado, here are my three recommendations. First things first, this book is perfect for those of you whose commute is particularly quick and provides you with a very short window in which to take something in. I have to recommend to you some 40 Tales from the Afterlife by David Eagleman. This book definitely falls into the small category, certainly shorter in size than your average book and coming in at 110 pages. This is a collection of short stories and short being the perfect way to describe each of them. Most of them are only two or three pages in fact and perfect for those journeys where you feel like you have to put your book back in your bag as soon as you've gotten it out. Each of the pieces of fiction in this collection introduce the reader to a new and intriguing concept of the afterlife and will provide you with a little surprise every time you sit down on that bus in the morning. Next up I have The Driver's Seat by Muriel Spark. Not only is Muriel Spark a classic Scottish author that we should have all read in our time but quite a few of her books in fact seem to have been written with the commute in mind, as they all manage to do something pretty intriguing within very few pages. Not only that, but this book definitely provides a little bit of escapism as the main character has been working in the same job for 16 years and finally decides to quit, rebrand herself entirely and go off on an adventure. But lastly, I have to recommend to you a book if even 100 pages is just too many and that is Down at the Rabbit Hole by Juan Pablo Villalobos. This novella comes in at a mere 70 pages, but despite that it's guaranteed to take you to a whole new world and potentially even make you miss your stop because you're so fascinated with the characters and events going on in this story. This book is told from the perspective of a child son of a Mexican drug lord and given his upbringing, his understanding of the world is pretty wacky. Not to mention this book is perfect if you have to stand on the bus or the train and need to read your book one-handed. But those are my three recommendations for commute time reading. Hopefully one of them brings a little bit more excitement into that short window of potential boredom on your way to work. Until next time.